Hey guys, Brian here with Premier Buildings Nebraska. Uh, sitting here in front of our 12 by 24 lofted garage today. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a different video for you guys uh, and maybe talk to you about some of the things that I wish I would have known about these buildings before I purchased mine. Um, or maybe, maybe not known, but would have done a little bit differently. So number one is I didn't listen to my wife. It's on record now. I didn't listen to her. Um, she told me to go with a bigger building and I was trying to be budget minded and, and I thought I could make what I had work. Um, and don't get me wrong, my building is great. It, it houses a few things that I could get out of my garage. But if it would have been that four foot longer, it just would have made the world a difference. So my, my first thing that I would have done differently was gone with as big of a building as I could. Um, and, and looking into the future, it'll probably be even bigger because uh, I don't foresee us being done buying toys or, or different things like that. So number one thing I would have done differently is I would have gone bigger versus trying to save a couple hundred dollars by, by going a little bit smaller and settling. Uh, another thing that I wish I would have would have known and and this is no one's fault again but my own um, but understanding the dimensions on the different buildings um, so with premier buildings the 10 foot and the 14 foot are both measured wall to wall the 12 foot and the 16 foot are measured eave to eave so like on a utility building, we have a little bit longer eaves on those. My building isn't really 12 foot wide. It's about 11, six, 11, three, somewhere right in there. Um, which put a little bit of a damper on me putting some two inch shelves in there or two foot shelves in there and still having 10 foot width. Um, so, so that was something that I wish I would have known. If you can handle, like if 10 foot is too narrow and, and you can handle going to the 14 wide, the 14 wide is probably the best bang for the buck that there is out there. Um, something else um, that I wish I would have known or wish I would have thought through is because I went with a smaller building. Uh, my idea was, well, I don't need to put my side by side in there, which is like 13 feet long. I can put my tractor in there, which is only nine. Well, when I made that switch, I didn't upgrade to the premium flooring that's here in the garage. Uh, I left it at the 5 8 My tractor weighs about 7,500, 8,000 pounds, where my side-by-side -side only weighs 2,500. So now that's why my side-by-side -side is in the, in the building versus my tractor, is because the floor would probably hold my tractor, but I don't want to risk it. You know, it, it's expensive and I, I don't want to put something that's too heavy in there and have it go through the floor and be like, well, oh, yep, it couldn't handle it. So um, the premium flooring, if you have heavier equipment, is, is definitely a must. Uh, the garages are really, really good if you have heavier equipment because the floor joists are going to be 12 inch on center in here, where like in my utility building, they're 16 inch on center. Um, so if you're thinking about putting a car or a tractor or something heavier in one, the premium flooring is definitely the way to go. So one thing that I did not know about Premier Buildings when I bought mine and I've been really, really pleased with um, is their customer service is phenomenal. Um, when I bought my building, it got hailed out really bad. And so I called the manufacturer and said, hey, can I get the paint codes so that I can repaint my building? Uh, I just got smoked with hail and it, and it chipped up the board pretty bad. Uh, Premier didn't say, yeah, here's your paint code or, well, we can get it for you. Here's how much. They just said, we'll make some up. We'll send it out to you. And, and my sales rep actually drove all the way out to the, the factory, picked up my my paint that I needed for my building and brought it back to me. So that was really phenomenal. And, and really, you guys, it, it's why I ended up becoming a Premier dealer. You know, I, I take a lot of pride in customer service and I've always, whatever industry I've ever been in, I've always tried to give the best customer service. So when Premier did that for me, I was like, man, 
Uh, if you guys need a dealer in your area and this is how you treat your customers, let me know. I would love to become a dealer with you. And so those are just some things that I wish I would have known or that I learned afterwards that have been really great. Okay, sorry, vehicle went by so I had to edit that out. Um, but you guys, just a phenomenal product. You know, Premier Buildings, I can't say enough about them. They've been great. Um, one thing I like about them too is there's another manufacturer that's pretty prevalent here in Nebraska. We are consistently less expensive than they are. Um, and a lot of that is just because like, yeah, we don't offer wiring, we don't offer dormers, we don't offer uh, some of these different things, but that really helps us keep our overhead down. So if you really just need a storage shed or, or something like that, I mean, we're the way to go. Decided to be a busy time of day. <laughs> so everybody, thank you for, for watching the video. Hopefully this helps you learn more and know more when you go to order your premier building. Um, and, and if you are looking for one, please feel free to reach out to myself or my cousin Grant. Uh, this is a small family business and we would really love to earn your business and, and give you uh, a really, really good experience. So thank you guys. Have a great day.